Hi, everybody. How are you today? I thought as I would go at trying to read you a story today, hopefully I'll be able to share the story with you and you'll be able to listen to me read it. I hope you're all doing OK at home. So let me just have a go at getting the story on. So it's called Harold's Worst Nightmare. Let's find out what happens. Harold was the luckiest cat in the world. You can have a look at the picture. What do you think makes him seem lucky? Looks a bit like a king, the way he's sitting over here. Harold loved playtime. Harold loved nap time. So I think that's a good place to sleep. Looks like he's a very hungry cat and he gets lots of attention. Harold loved dinner time. Harold loved snuggle time. One day, the humans brought home a box. Harold loved boxes. Mm, wonder what's going to be in this box. But as Harold got closer, something strange happened. <gasps> it's making him think, isn't it? Mm. The box made a noise. Did you guess what was going to be in that box? I think I did. The humans opened the box and inside was, what's it gonna be? The most awful thing Harold had ever seen. Doesn't look awful to me, it looks very cute. Another cat, a tiny kitten. Harold's worst nightmare. Muffin. Muffin ruined playtime. Muffin ruined nap time. Muffin ruined dinner time. Muffin ruined snuggle time. Have a look at Harold's face. He doesn't look happy at all, does he? When night came, the humans put Muffin to bed. Got a nice new bed, I think. Finally, Harold could be by himself. He found a spot that Muffin couldn't reach. Can you see him all the way up there at the top of the bookcase? But Harold couldn't sleep. He could hear a very sad, very small noise. Meow. Oh dear, I think the kitten's not very happy tonight. Harold looked down at Muffin. She looked so tiny and lonely. <gasps> Wonder what he's going to do. Suddenly, Harold remembered being that little and feeling scared. He crept down from his hiding place. Well, suddenly Muffin doesn't look so sad anymore. Oh, I know why. Harold snuggled up next to Muffin. Soon, they both fell asleep. The next day, Harold taught Muffin how to play nicely, how to nap properly, and how to eat politely. That's much better, Muffin. In the afternoon, Harold and Muffin both found the perfect spot for snuggle time. They've got one each, haven't they? Maybe having Muffin around wouldn't be so bad after all. Oh, they look much happier together now. There they are having a play. I think they're going to be friends now. Oh, there's one on the top of the fridge. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. It was really nice to be able to read to you today. I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye.